Hey guys, Redstorm here. I have the biggest, hugest announcement yet. I, myself, Redstorm, have a merch channel in our Discord server. So if you guys want to check it out, it is in the description below. But if you guys want to wonder why I have been on hiatus for like months on hand, here is the description why. And I will get after you after the intro. So you're probably wondering how in the heck, um, what I'm doing my hiatus, or what have I been doing four to five months without uploading shit. Well, I've been dealing with a lot of shit on my plate right with, well, one, moving. But, other than that, I have people People harassing me on Twitter. Uh, recently, this person, Blue Demon Twenty One, has been harassing me non fucking stop, and he claims I have beef with him, which I never did have beef with him. He claims I have beef with everybody, which I don't. Like, I never try to hurt anybody in any way. Um, anybody who knows me in real life and some people who know me online that when they hear me out that I am the most kindest person in the fucking world but with with him trying to spread lies about me and along with Lori Boardwalk and KP still trying to put my past in front of me, like, you need to make amends. Well, sad thing news to say, I already made amends for it, and I already apologized for it, like, videos, how many podcasts, about five or six of them, but still, grow up, really. And recently, KP thinks that I'm art thievering, which, when I'm making logos from a logo generator that you can make from an app, an actual app that, um, on your phone, easy peasy. A logo generator plus making edits with it, like different colors, different colorization, all that bullshit. So. Yeah, but the funny thing is, you're trying to make me look like the bad guy, when actually it makes them look like more like the bad guy. They're trying to ruin somebody's reputation. They're trying to move on after they apologize. It's already weight off off my shoulders, but nobody wants to hear my apology. So yeah, that's kind of make bad guy right then and there. Especially when you're trying to live your life and deal with that, and then dealing with dealing with your unstableness with a whole bunch of fucking other bullshit. It's just all just a bunch of bullshit. Especially when I have documentation of PTSD, Asperger's or ASD, as they documented it now. I have actual uh, paperwork from the hospital. I was hospitalized. Shit all went down with work. Like, they all brought up blow cakes while I was gone. Like, while I was gone, they brought up blow cakes. It's like, it's been how many years here she was accused? Hi, cat. It's like, it's been how many years since she was accused? And you're still going at her? Like, come on. And then you attack Lost Narrator's character. 
And I know Lost has her faults. I mean, we're all human. We all make mistakes. What the fuck? We all make mistakes. But the people that make mistakes and try to make amends for them, and you don't accept them, that makes you the bad guy here. You don't accept the fact that I made amends. You don't accept the fact that I made apologies, and I have done bad things in my life, and I made amends for them. I paid the price, as some people say. But the fact is, you don't have the right to tell me what I can do in my life. That goes out to you, Blue Demon. You can't tell me what I can and can't do. You can't tell me what I have been through, what I have not been through. You don't know me. At all. But, huh? either way, the whole situation with, um, Wub cake and stuff. I moved on from that. Like, it's no big fucking deal. Like, all of you should fucking move on and don't harass her. Because that's making you look the fucking bad guy. Even worse. It's like, she's human. She makes mistakes, just like everyone else here. Like, still. Even I make mistakes. I'm not proud of them. And most of the stuff I did in that server I wasn't proud of. Like posting a conversation about the definition of a fetish was not called for. So yeah. Definition was a f uh, de it was a definition of a fetish or something like that for me. Or the definition of my fetish or something like that, but yeah, you get the point. It wasn't NSW related, it was just a fetish or definition of it. But it was deleted right after, which I think is on a professional. So they can't collect evidence on me saying that, oh, she posted porn. Do you got proof? No, it deleted. Then you can't tell her that she posted porn when she didn't post porn. It's like, that's a double standard. When you delete something, it's gone forever. Just like when I delete something, it's gone forever. You can't recover it. So yeah. So like if you delete something off YouTube, it's gone forever. But yeah, don't ever judge a book by its cover. Do you want to see what the post I did the other day? This is what I wrote out and posted on my Twitter. Not too long ago. It was about three days ago, actually. <clears throat> In a world where first impressions often did take our actions, I find myself grappling with the unsettling reality of being judged before anyone gets to know me. It's a situation I am sure many can relate to. One, I'm where I'm unfairly categorized based on superficial cues such as appearance or demeanor. I want to shed light on the importance of beyond the surface, discovering the kindness, genuine genuineness or generate genuineness and honesty and defining my character misleading facade it's often that appearance can be deceiving and it's true in my case I might appear reserved serious or even approached appro unapproachable at first glance however there is an outward traits that don't define who I am beneath the surface Kindness beyond expectation. Beneath my initial exterior, I am generally kind and a compassionate person. I believe that in the power of empathy and extending helping under and helping hand than those need. An act of kindness is always a significant part of my life. 
the gifted genuineness authenticity is a core value of my guides and my actions and interactions i am firm believer it is true one's self honest of all situations authenticity builds trust fosters genuine connections the strength of honesty honesty is the foundation of means meaningful relationships i pride myself on being honest both myself and with others my commitment to honesty stems the belief that open communication is essential for belief, building trust and understanding. Challenging stereotypes. I understand that inter, initial judgment can be difficult to overcome. However, I hope my experience challenging the stereotypes and pre, preconceptions that people hold. By getting to know me, others might discover that their initial assumptions are far from the truth. And the world snapped in judgment, superficial evaluations are commonplace. It's crucial to recognize the value of getting to know somebody beyond the surface. I am a living testament of the idea of kindness, genuineness, and honesty. often hide behind initial impressions. By taking the time to understand others in a deeper level, we can open ourselves up to beauty and genuine human connections. So those who judge me before getting to know me, I invite you to dig a little deeper before you, you find, might find a kind, genuine, and honest individual waiting to form a meaningful connection. And that is who I am. You may I might still know me. Some of you might still know me as Foxblood, or X Foxblood X, and then Foxblood Ops, or Foxblood Op. But now I am reborn as Rider Storm. But I hope you guys take the time to get to know me before judging me or judging my character. Because you don't know what people have gone through or what could happen if if something could happen if um, their mental stability was not in place. You might want to have that on your conscience. And also, take a one step a little bit out of your comfort zone to talk to the person before judging them and getting to know them beforehand and getting to know them before you judge them, judge their character, judge their appearance, judge how they act. Because the way I see it, people judge their characters based on people's actions. Because there's a saying that actually speaks a lot of the world's words, but there are some actions that can lead to good actions. Like I wanted to have a meaningful connection to certain people. And have a good connection to people. But people want to be assholes. And I'm just saying now. If, if there were certain people in this world like Blue Demon or Ori. I want you guys to think about what you have done. Before you have heard what I said in that note. Because you probably just lost a good connection to a human being that you probably never met in real life. That probably would have been a good ally to you. A good friend to help you do things that you want to do. Spread the word to something. Spread words to around and help you out but no you had to choose the the evil route the dark route the nasty plotting route i'm sorry but i can't be friends with that i have to cut that off cut it off like an infection but without further ado this is writer storm 
and she's signing off for tonight and she hopes you have a good night everybody